A man's car stalled on a country road. When he got out to fix it, a cow came along and stopped beside him. Your trouble is probably in the carburetor, said the cow. Startled, the man jumped back and ran down the road until he met an Amishman. He told the Amishman his story. Was it a large red cow with a brown spot over the right eye? asked the Amishman. Yes, yes, the man replied. Oh, I wouldn't listen to Bessie, said the Amishman. She doesn't know anything about cars. A man travelling down a country road was forced to stop before a giant puddle, covering the entire road. Looking to the side of the road, the man noticed an Amishman leaning on a fence. Think it's safe to cross? the man asked. I reckon so, replied the Amishman. The puddle immediately swallowed the car as the man drove in. In fact, it was so deep that he had to roll his window down to swim out of his car back to the surface. As his head broke the surface, the man said to the Amishman, I thought you said I could safely drive through this puddle. Well, said the Amishman, scratching his head, it only come up chest high on my ducks. Amish man and his son go to a big shopping mall for the first time. They're staring in wonder at all of the shiny big buildings and the massive panes of glass when the two come across two big shiny metal doors. What is it, Dad? asked the son. I have no idea, replied the father. I have never seen anything like this in all my life. They watched in wonder as an old lady walked up to the doors, pressed a button, and stepped inside the now open doors. The doors closed once again, and a while later, a twenty-year-old blonde strolled out of the doors. The father told his son, Go get your mother. An Amish lad is standing beside the road with a big load of wooden crates that just tipped over off his wagon. A man passing by notices the young man, struggling to get the crates picked up. The young Amish lad is huffing and puffing and sweating, profusely working very hard on a very hot day, with the sun beating down on him. The man asks the Amish lad why he is working so hard when it is so hot outside, and he could seriously injure himself or get heat-stressed. The Amish lad replies, that he needs to get these crates picked up, or his father will kill him. You need to slow down, replied the man, before the heat overtakes you. You should take a break. The Amish lad relents to the advice of his elder, and the two sit under a shade tree and drink some fresh water the traveller happened to have with him. The man then asked of the lad, Where is your father? Maybe I should have a talk with him and straighten this all out. He's underneath all of them crates, answered the Amish lad. Three Amish ladies are in a field picking potatoes. Their husbands' names are Jake, Jacob, and Jakey. They would always get confused, so one day they decided to nickname them. Mabel said, let's name them after Soda Pop. The other two said, what do you mean? Mabel said she would go first and said, Akin, I'll call my Jacob Seven Up, because he has seven inches and it's always up. Oh, the other two loved this idea. So Ella went next and said, I'll call my Jake Mountain Dew, because he takes me to the mountain and he sure can do me. And they laughed. The last lady, Margaret, thinks a minute and said, I'll call my husband Jack Daniels. Mabel responded, that's not a soda pop, that's a liquor. That's my Jakey, exclaimed Margaret. A young Amish couple got married. After the wedding, they went out for a ride on a horse and buggy. Everything was going fine, until all of a sudden, the horse stops. The husband gets out, walks over to the horse, looks it dead in the eyes, and said, That's one. The husband gets back in the buggy, and they start moving like normal. A few minutes later, the horse stops again. The husband gets out 
slightly more frustrated, walks over to the horse, looks him dead in the eyes, and says, That's two. The husband gets back in the buggy, and they start moving again. A few minutes later, the horse stops again. The husband reaches under his seat, grabs a shotgun, walks over to the horse, and shoots it in the head. The horse falls over dead. The wife starts yelling at the husband, What are you doing? That horse was a gift from my father. How dare you shoot it? The husband looks his wife dead in the eyes and says, That's one! In the middle of the night, an elderly Amish man wakes up hurriedly. He goes to the outhouse after realizing he needs to poop, and it's going to be a bad one. He looks around for a magazine or toilet paper once he finishes. He recalled afterwards that he had used the last page of the Sears catalogue that afternoon. Then, miraculously, he discovers a white glow on the floor. Meanwhile, his wife is lying in bed, puzzled as to what is taking him so long. Finally, the old guy returns and lies down next to his wife. What took so long? inquires the elderly lady. I had to stop and wash my hands, says the elderly man. In the fifty years we've been married, you've never washed your hands after using the outhouse. With that old, old man replies, Well, in fifty years, I've never wiped my ass with a moonbeam either. Two fellas were in desperate need of cash, but admittedly were a bit cowardly. So the one suggested they break into the Amish market, the logic being that since the Amish were non-resistant, even if they were caught, no harm could befall them. Thus, they carried out their plot. However, just as they were breaking into the cash register, the owner turned on the lights and confronted them. A shotgun pointed directly at them. Calmly, the Amish man said, Boys, I would never do thee any harm, yet you are standing where I am about to shoot. An Amish lady is pulled over. I'm not going to cite you, said the officer. I just wanted to warn you that the reflector on the back of your buggy is broken, and it could be dangerous. I thank thee, replied the Amish lady. I shall have my husband repair it, as soon as I return home. Also, said the officer, I noticed one of your reins to your horse is wrapped around his testicles. Some people might consider this cruelty to animals, so you should have your husband check that too. Again I thank thee. I shall have my husband check this when I get home. True to her word, when the Amish lady got home, she told her husband about the broken reflector. He said he would put a new one on immediately. Also, said the Amish woman, the policeman said there was something wrong with the emergency brake. A pair of Amish girls visiting New York decide to try hot dogs for the first time. They buy two hot dogs wrapped in foil from a street vendor and sit down on a nearby bench, excited to finally try this modern cuisine. The first girl opens the foil, blushes with embarrassment, and shyly asks the second girl, What part of the dog did you get? Subscribe to the channel. This is important. It will help me continue my work.